Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi, welcome back. We got some food and we took doo-doos in each other's mouths with our hamsters and I put them in my pocket and they couldn't breathe so I built them a palace to apologize and they're totally fine now and I took them to a doctor and they said they're the most healthiest hamsters they've ever seen. Um, welcome back. Uh, so, the thing we were going to talk about a little while ago was, um, so James sometimes will talk like baby talk, like... In general, and I was telling him like I appreciate the fact that he just he doesn't care, man. He just does him. Like I think that's awesome. Like, uh, but I also told him sometimes to me it's a little it's a little cringy. Like uh, I cringe whenever I hear grown adults uh, talking baby talk. So that's a way to make me cringe, I guess. Uh, not I guess. Like yeah, that'll make me cringe. But um, and James was like, oh, really? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, dude, a couple times when we've been out in a boot, like at restaurants or like, uh, at the store, sometimes you'll say something in baby talk and people will give like, slight, not like, what the fuck? They'll give like weird looks. Like they think it's funny or awkward that a grown adult is talking like that. And I, I meant that as like, uh, like, that's good. You do you, man. But I guess James is unaware of it. And, uh, and he was like, really? <laughs> And I guess your sister's also said something like that before. Yeah. <laughs> and she like dead silent. Yeah, I yeah. My sister said, James, I noticed like when you say it, you tend to talk to talk to me like that sometimes, or like one of your one of our younger cousins, and I'm like, Oh, I do? She's like, Yeah, you kinda do it and it feels like you're talking down to us. And I'm like, oh, that's not what I mean. It's just I don't know. So uh -huh. yeah. 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 No, so, I. Elliot's not the first person to tell me this. And I wasn't <clears throat> telling it to you like a bad thing. No, 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 no. Just like, oh, I, yeah, you do that sometimes. It's usually, just... usually if it's like something cute, uh -huh. or which I mean that's kind of normal. I go take you with your Pokemon. Yeah. Or if you're talking about your parents, like I guess sometimes. Apparently jokily. I did that. Apparently I did that in the last episode or something. <laughs> uh. One or two episodes ago. I go, I yell at my mommy and daddy. Oh, yeah, yeah. You're so, you're so sweet. Yeah, just like in casual conversation, you'll be like, my daddy came over. And <laughs> that's, that's how it started. I just think it's funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I, I'm glad I'm aware, at least. I'd rather I'd rather be in the know than completely oblivious. And I did tell you, like, keep on rocking, dude. You did. Yeah. Do. I mean, it's... Too many people, like, I don't know. Too many people are like... like I care about the sh I care about mundane stupid things. <laughs> um, yeah. So, it it's have you ever type in the comments? Keep on rocking, James. Or, or it if you find James is <laughs> if you find it cringy, please please share. I'm sure I'll be irritated by it. But you know what? Again, I'd like to know the truth. Yeah, I, I didn't mean it as a bad thing. No, I, Again, I, I know, dude. as you pointed out, I love cringe. I even like it when I am cringing. Like, mm -hmm. I'm like, ooh, I'm going to look back at this later and be like, ooh, that was a cringy moment. Like the ukulele rap. I remember when I showed that to you and Jen. Oh, yeah. We dinner and you were like, when we were when it was over, you said, okay, that was kind of cringy. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but it, I, I kind of felt cringy when I first saw it, too. But when I was done, I was like, yeah, no. Uh, I like this. <laughs> Even I mean the DK rap is a little bit cringy, but I, I have never I love cringed it. to that. I just only more in my recent days. Like, yeah, when yeah. I was a kid, never. Um, look at how the range on this thing. It's yeah, goddamn yeah. bow and arrow in the sort of in the form of a sword. I was gonna say in the sword of a form. Um, Bianna, dude, <laughs> you bring that up and me being like, I do. That is such a deja vu thing for me because oh. people. That is so. That has happened to me so many times in my life, mm. where people have people have said, "You know, you do this, right?" Or that's weird, and I'm like, "It is." Mm. You know, that's I can think of so many times where people have had to tell me that, like James, that may have made us that made us feel weird, or mm. that that's kind of uncomfortable, or oh. and I'm like, "What?" I didn't I didn't mean it in like an uncomfortable way. Oh no no no, dude, I'm I, I I I know you. I know oh, you're, you're just saying in general. Yeah, I'm just saying in general. Oh, like okay. I can just think of during my freaking college days and. Yeah, no, I it's it's ironic because I actually have a fear of being oblivious. 
Elliot, uh, Elliot oh, yeah. knows this. Like, I have a fear of being oblivious and, like, causing trouble for other mm. people. That's mm. one of my, my, my things I've Obvious. always had. So... <laughs> oh, I got my wiener chuck. Oh, get wrecked. Wiener chuck. Mm. That's usually your phrase. Get wrecked or, get wrecked, or rip fam or whatever. <laughs> no, I don't think you do that much, that much. Maybe since it's a fear, you like notice it more. I, I guess it's, I don't know. Like there, there used to be this thing. Have you ever seen Pitch Perfect? No. It's, I'm not. But you, <laughs> oh yeah, right, you're not a movie person. No. But it's completely random. I was going to say, I was going to say, I'm not a 40 year old woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's this little thing in that movie. Stupid joke, that's why I didn't tell it. <laughs> the, and then I did. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm done. I swear I'm done. You're, no, you're fine, dude. There's this thing where um, Anna Kendrick does in that movie. She does this thing where she has a cup and she does the. Oh, yeah, the cup thing. Just look it up on YouTube. Yeah, like, I know what Anna that Kendrick's is. Kendrick's Cups. So, when that I... That was the thing before her, right? I, uh, maybe. Was I that where that got started? I'm sure it was popularized okay. and seen in the mainstream by that movie. But the point is, I learned, I decided to learn how to do it in college. And okay. I got super <gasps> into it. I was like, oh, this is so much fun. It's so cool. Yeah. I ended up like taking a little cup with me, like, wherever I went. Yeah. So I could do it. I remember one time during... <gasps> oh, it's the guy from the forest. It's another spooky kangaroo. Look at, this. Look at this. I have no defense, but I just fucking <laughs> wombo him from long range. Oh no, Stealth was here. Let me just poke you. See ya, bitch. <laughs> um. So I, my friends eventually had to tell me, James, please stop doing the cups thing all the time. And I was upset. I was like, Oh, what? I had no idea. It was annoying. Mm. I even once did it at dinner, like I, at the buffet at my college. We were, me and some of them were getting dinner together. I took one of the plastic cups Rad. off the table and I started doing it. Mm -hmm. And it was like, Isn't way... it multiple cups though? No, it's just one. Okay. And I, the table rattled, just kind of rattled and it was extra loud because it wasn't like a, one it was of like those. like a college dining hall. Yeah, it was like. Like, like a middle school lunch table. Yeah, so it was kind of loud. And they're like, J James, seriously, don't do that now. And it just took me so long to get it into my head that eh, I should probably not do this as much. And same with singing. Like my friend would take out his guitar and we were sitting outside our dorm uh -huh. at nighttime and I was with him. Tom, by the way. Oh, he was the guy who, uh, you know, does made our artwork. Hey, Tom. Hey, Tom. Hey, buddy. Um, he's really good at guitar. He was playing, okay. he was playing, uh, back against the wall by cage. The elephant, you know, that song. Yeah. Freaking love that song. Um, two, hate that song. <laughs> two of our, <laughs> Two of our other friends were there, and I would sing along like, Tonight I have a look and try to find my face again. And no, I, James, don't do that. I would sing super <laughs> loud. <laughs> Fucking kidding. And they'd be like, James, James can, you, it's, can you not sing as loud? They, they didn't even say it like that. They said it in a slightly more obscure way, but I still didn't quite get it. I was like, what? I don't understand. And, and that's the tricky thing, because when you're the one causing a disturbance... Because you're the one doing the action, it's so hard because you don't understand why it's disturbing. The people around you do because they're the ones who are being affected by it. Sure. So, like, when you they tell you, it's like, what? I don't get it. And it's not until you hear somebody else do it that it's like, uh, okay. So, yeah, like, that's it's happened to me several times in mm. my life. So, if it ever happens to me nowadays, it's like, oh, not again. Oh. Wow. Oh god damn it! Um. So yeah, man, this is like one of the well, deepest things I've ever said on this show. Well, thank you for sharing. I, I Next, it's, it's, it's hard to talk about yourself sometimes, but uh, as Doctor Phil says, uh, "Smoke crack, get get bitches." <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, th that's nice of you to share on the show. Yeah, um, no, I'm I'm glad I let that out. I feel I, like I feel like I'm in a counselor's office right now. <laughs> Hi, talk to Dr. Elliot. He's a total raging dick and douche, but you can tell all your secrets to the internet. But yeah, so no, I, I feel like, I think a lot of people can relate to that. Especially yeah. those who like, maybe... Bye bye, baby! <laughs> um, what a clod. Fucking idiot fell to his death. Um, yeah, dude, I was gonna say, I'm like the opposite. Uh, you just don't care. Most of the time. Fuck! A <laughs> fucking Claude fell to his death. <laughs> yeah, like, um, if people will tell me, I mean, I'm hypersensitive, or hyper aware of myself. Yeah, so, good like, for you. I'm always, like, 
Oh, this is probably really annoying or very loud or like I'm probably, you know, I won't do that. Mm. Um, but also, yeah, a lot of times I don't care. I remember there was this time I was probably in eighth grade and I had um, I like a couple friends over and one of them asked to bring their friends who was like an acquaintance of mine. I didn't really know her very well, but uh-huh. it was like my friend's friend. And so I was like, yeah, you, you can bring your friend over, I guess. Uh, and so my friend and my – so uh, – R? What the fuck? Freaking fracking. Okay. I'm gonna take these boots off. I think I can just run across. Think so? I think so. Alright. I think if I just roll jump. Yeah. Nice. Fine. (laughs) Cool. Phew. God, he responds every time? Yeah. God, that's annoying. Uh, right. So, anyways. Your acquaintance. Um, yes, yes, my acquaintance. We'll call her. D. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was epic. Fuck. We'll call her D. Okay. Um. And, D. Yep. And D and I were just like going for a little bit of a walk. Uh-huh. Uh, I think we were both like walking in the same direction. Like my other friend, she had left, and the other other friend I had, he had left uh, too. You Damn jumped. It. it wasn't it. the The platform you have to wasn't wait for the tippy top. Yeah, it wasn't at the tippy top. Got it. So my other two friends left, and so I was walking in with my acquaintance, D and I, and uh, we were just talking and chilling and stuff, and yeah, we were in eighth grade or something. She's like, you know, you walk really weird. And I was like, oh, do I? And she's like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have told you that, because now you're going to like pay attention to it and like overanalyze it, and it's probably going to drive you crazy. And I was like, eh, I don't care. (laughs) And ever since, I've noticed I walk weird, but like... It's never once bothered me. Wow. Yep. <laughs> you just say, haters gonna hate. Pretty much. I'm gonna just walk like a fucking Muppet. <laughs> I think it's more interesting. Oh, I mean, I don't walk that weird. Um, <laughs> I, I, know, I'm just I walk kidding. on my tippy toes. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Yep. Whew. I walk on my tippy toes a lot of the time. Oh, dude. Yeah, my, my freaking family, they've always, ever since I was a kid, I did. Apparently, that's like, I'm actually a uh, high-functioning uh, alcoholic a- Aspergers. Okay. I don't know. I don't think I've ever shared that on the show. I'm actually high functioning autistic or Aspergers or whatever mm-hmm. the hell you call it. Sure. That appara- that's actually a, a trait, like people walking on their tippy toes. Oh. Which I, I, I don't completely get. I mean, I don't know. I guess we're just par- you and I were just probably part Velociraptor or something. Yeah, dude. <laughs> totally. Uh, but you yeah, know, I've seen a lot of people do that. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, I. I don't know why I walk on my tippy toes. I think it's just like I have really big calf muscles because of it. Mm. Uh, and it's only usually when I'm going up or down hill. Hmm. I think it's just easier for me to keep balance. Well, yeah, I mean, going uphill, yeah, that makes sense, uh, dude. Wieners. So, yeah. But uh, other than that, yeah, no, I, I just always thought it was funny mm. that she was like, I, I shouldn't have told you that. I was like, I don't give a shit. Yeah, see, if that were me in that situation, I probably would have been like, oh. Hmm, okay. And I probably would have been the one like, no. Because that's me. No! Uh, yeah. Next time on Royal Gibbs, uh. We're gonna get even more serious. Yeah. Welcome to my office. Uh,